Okay, me and Anthony have been studying for uh, for a test, so we haven't posted a video up in a while, but Anthony's just got his uh, 240 uh, started up, so he recorded all that, he's got it all on video, so you should be posting that video up shortly. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video on the uh, LX. Somebody wanted to see how to bleed out the uh, AHC system and how to refill it, so I'll do a quick video on that. Um, you can go on Amazon and get the fluid. Uh, I believe it's like 40 or $50 or something along there. I'll leave a link. Um, so you need to get uh, Toyota um, hydraulic fluid, suspension fluid. Don't use anything else. Um, so right now I'm gonna go to the car and quickly show you uh, step by step what you need to do. I disconnected my AAC system, so I don't really have any of the same, um, I'm not actually gonna do it, but I'll show you because I still have the reservoir and everything that you need to connect. Um, so, all right, let's get started. Okay, so first thing we're gonna need to do, uh, first thing we're gonna need to do is get rid of the old fluid that's in the reservoir. Um, the best way to do it is to throw the car into uh, the lowest position. So, follow me. So, you're gonna set, you're gonna set your position to low, and then Basically what that does is when you go to your lowest position, all the fluid and the suspension and your shocks goes up into the reservoir. Uh, so now your reservoir should be at the highest level. Then you drain out all the fluid from there, all the old fluid. Um, then put in new fluid, uh, pour in the new fluid. Then go back into the car and raise it to the highest position. Um, make sure you're on level ground raise the vehicle to the highest position um, with the select with the uh, button obviously I'm sure you know how to do that once it's in the highest position you're gonna go to each one of these corners and actually before you get started you might want to spray some penetrating oil on these uh, on these connections it's just like bleeding your brake system so if you can see right right there each corner has one of these you have globes and then these things uh, and that's basically just a, uh, a valve so you see that black nipple right there Let's see if I can zoom in on that that black nipple right there that black nipple right there you're gonna connect a uh, yeah. You're gonna connect a hose onto that, and you crack that loose. Um, and make sure you're not underneath the car when you do this. Just get your wrench under there um, with your with your arm. Just crack it loose. You'll feel the car start to drop. Um, you'll be all right. You have enough clearance. It's not gonna fall on your hand. But don't stick your head under there. Uh, crack it loose, and then once it gets to a pretty low level, uh, once you see it. Once you see the car get to about uh, a little bit below the neutral, like almost the low point on the one side, go ahead and tighten that up and go back to, uh, sorry, uh, go back to uh, the car and turn the key and turn the car back on. And what'll happen is the, the suspension system will raise that side back up so it's level. Um, because once you lower it, just this one corner will get lowered. So when you turn the key back on, um, it'll raise the side back up. Um, then go back, top off the fluid, uh, and start with the other side. And you want to start from the back left corner, then the rear right corner, then the front left, then right at the, uh, the reservoir. Thanks. So, uh, you, so, like I said, you want to start from the back. Uh, I forget if it's the back left you want to start with. I think it is. So the rear left to start with, then do the rear right, then the front right, then the front, I mean, then the front left and the front right. Um, you you want to keep bleeding the one side until you see clean fluid. Uh, once you start seeing clean fluid, then switch, then go to the other side. So you have the whole line up to the, uh, the shock um, with clean fluid. So. This is the reservoir I'm referring to. Uh, 
you can see there's a level mark on there. Uh, this flashlight's a little too bright. There you go. You can see there's a max, min. Uh, those lines are really close to each other. There's not much room for error there. So you want to be between those lines. Um, when your suspension's in neutral, you want to be between those lines. Uh, when obviously when you're at full height, uh, when you go to full high, uh, you'll be a little bit lower than that. And when you go to full low, all the fluid will come into this reservoir, so it'll be a little bit higher than max. But um, you want to stay between the lines there. And when they tell you uh, to determine whether your globes are bad, they say if you're like seven hash marks, um, you'll read up on that. You'll know what I'm talking about. These are the hash marks they're referring to. These little marks right there. So if you're if you go from low to high and it's more than seven marks, then you're you're good. Your globes aren't bad. But if it's less than that, then uh, you you have an issue. Um, okay, so that's that. Hope that helps some people. I would definitely highly recommend you change the fluid out if you haven't done so. And every like, I like to do it every thirty thousand. Um, but I, again, I replaced the whole system, so I don't do it anymore. But it definitely did help a little bit when I did that. So, highly recommend doing it. Alright, thanks for watching and more videos to come.